this video explain them uh, finding the required uh, beams uh, selections for for the given loading conditions so design the smallest section size considering only flux resistance shear and deflection are considered later for a simply supported beam which is um, simply supported beam spanning 800 millimeters um, has uh, and loaded with a uniformly distributed load specified uh, given that lateral rust stand is available at the support so lateral stand is available support and mid span determining where the rust stand is required if any to ensure that beam is fully rust um, if, if this rust stand is enough to have a condition satisfy fully rust stand if not then what are the additional rust stand need to be provided to the beam to ensure the condition of fully rust stand now the dead load is given 10 kilo newton per meter so that is uh, w for dead load and uh, and the live load is given 8 kilo newton per meters uh, for this w and uh, uh, yield strength fy is 300 megapascals that we need to take it now first of all so we are going to combine this dead load and live load given the combinations equations so if i draw these equations again dead load 10 kilo newtons given 8 kilo newtons neither so we need to find a design uh, load w star uh, we need to combine the dead load and live load so if you go to the 1170.0 uh, australian standards where we have a have a, on page number 15 we have given the strength criteria we can find the design load 1.2 g plus 1.5 cube so in that case we substitute the value uh, 1.2 times the dead load 10 uh, plus 1.5 times the live load 8 and that gives us 24 kilo newton per meter so this value is 24 kilo newton per meter now if you do the structure analysis uh, we can find the we can draw the bending moment diagram and we are interested in the maximum bending moment at the mid span which is w design load times l square over 8 so design bending moment at the mid span is w l w star l square over 8 so that substitute 24 kilo newton uh, meters so that is actually, actually we have wl square over 8 so 24 times 8 square on 8 give us 192 kilo newton meter uh, that's the bending moment at the uh, at this mid span so this value is 192 kilo newton meter now once we find this uh, maximum um, maximum bending moments we can do the se section selection so for a beam that is fully braced uh, member moment capacity mb is equal to section moment capacity ms now uh, require is the uh, phi mb is greater than m star maximum that is given in close 5.1 on page number 49 and here on page number 49 it's given that uh, uh, design bending moment should be uh, less than uh, this uh, uh, the capacity of the of the selected uh, beam so that's uh, relation is given here uh, 0 0.9 mb we have calculated m star maximum design bending moment 192 kilo newton meters that is 192 kilo newton meters and mb equal to 192 on 0.9 so that simplification gives mb equal to 213 kilonewton meters now from mb we have a zefi so if you substitute here zefi greater than or equal to 213 kilonewton meters and we are going to find the z e value bring this fy across um, 300 and then you need to multiply these thousands times thousands to get it in the newton millimeters so the z e value would be 710 um, uh, 710 times 10 to the power 3 millimeter cube now that is the ZD value now we need to go to the uh, one steel tables and we need to find the uh, Z value which is greater than this 710 so uh, by scanning the one steel tables we will have a uh, 360 UB 44.7 and the Z value here is the 7777 so uh, that's um, that's triple C one has a SX value that times 10 to the power 3 so we just need to uh, go through this one 729 777 so we just selected this triple C one 10 to the power 3 uh, which is greater than 710 and that is 306 UB 44.7 the radius of guidation is given uh, RY value which is 37.6 millimeters that is recorded recorded here now the next uh, next next uh, 
after selecting the sections we need to check whether this bracing that is given here is enough to consider fully restrained or not so in this condition we have three bracings has given now we need to have these equations to 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 check whether this bracing is uh, this value is less than or equal to equal to 80 plus 50 beta m that is coming from the close that is coming from close 5.3.2.4 on page number 53 we have l over ry 80 plus 50 beta m 250 on fy so l is 400 that is given in the questions uh, like uh, for this bracing distance between the bracing is 4000 millimeters so 4000 ry value we just uh, recorded ry value for that for that uh, 360 ub 44.7 that is radius of gyration which is 37.6 give us 106 now 80 plus 50 that is moment ratio times 250 on fy now beta m is minus 0.8 for the segment with the transverse load that is given in the oscillation standard on page number 54 we have given beta m value is minus 0 0.8 for the segment with the transverse loads so that's beta m is equal to minus 0 0.8 and 250 over 300 and 300 is given in the questions we on the on the first page of the questions fy is 300 megapascals and uh, now if you compare this 306 which is left hand side is um, is greater than 36 so it's not less than rhs so that is not fully restrained conditions to require the additional restraint such as we need to satisfy this left hand side should be less than or equal to right hand side so l over r left hand side should be equal to less than or equal to 36 right hand side so l equal to 36 times ry ry is 37.6 so we can say that when the length is 1350 or less we can say that this uh, this uh, condition which be left hand side would be less than right hand side so we need to provide the bracing 1350 millimeters so we have this blue one that is given in the question so additional bracing would be at 133 uh, and so on that additional two bracing here additional two bracing here by providing that additional bracings we can say that this uh, beam is uh, considered as a fully restrained by satisfying left hand side is, is less than or equal to right hand side thank you